Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna create a ladybug themed tutu dress or skirt. Now we've already created the tutu dress. This is gonna be for a cutie pie that's a little over one. And we have tutorials available if you need to see how just to make the tutu skirt or dress. We're also gonna make a headpiece for this and that's totally optional. There's a lot of different ways you can make a headpiece. But we're gonna use a turban that's black for this. You can also make it out of one of those plastic headbands. The supplies that you're gonna need for creating the ladybug effect on the tutu dress or skirt are either felt or foam sheets, or if you prefer, you can buy those already circular felt pieces. I believe Amazon and your local craft store should have them for under $5 for 100 to 200. You'll need your trusty hot glue gun, glue sticks. Speaking of glue sticks, yes, you can find hot glue sticks that coincide with the color of your tutu in most cases. The only thing is, is they're a little bit more expensive and I have not found any that are bigger than the mini size. So if any of you out there know of the bigger size available, please share it with the rest of us. We Okay, you'll need satin edged ribbon, a couple of dowels, and then the turban if you're creating the headpiece like we're showing you today. For our project, we're using foam sheets that are black. They're five by seven, I believe, in size. We're gonna cut these into strips. After we've cut them into strips, we're going to fold them over and using our craft scissors we're just going to eyeball it and make circles now since you folded it over you'll get two instead of one at a time now a special note that I learned the hard way make a good size pile if you're making them all by hand make a big pile of those babies because if not you're gonna have to stop and start stop and start every time you realize oh I need more after you made your circle remember they don't have to be absolutely perfect you can always go back and touch it up with your craft scissors once you've created that initial circle circle. After you've created your circle, simply take a dab of glue from your hot glue gun. Pull out the tool piece that you're going to be working with first, keeping it away from the rest of the tutu dress or skirt. Press firmly embellishment to tool, the circle to the tool. Now stretch the tool apart, still holding the embellishment, and let that glue saturate into the diamond holes that make up tool. Flip it over, move on to the next piece. All right, one more time. Time, simply take a dab of glue. Remember less is more. Put a dab of glue on your circle, place it on the tool, but make sure your tool is away from your tutu dress or skirt. Press firmly, stretch the tool just a bit, allowing the glue to penetrate through those diamond holes. Either wait five to 10 seconds or flip it over and move on to the next. If you realize, oh, there's too much glue on here or the glue dried too quickly for me and it's not really sticking the way I want, Take your glue gun again and just gently rub it on that glue that's already on there. Using the tip of your glue gun, you can take away some of the glue if you've got too much. And you can also, of course, reheat it if you realize it dried too fast on you. One of the things I did want to mention after creating this, I looked at the photos and I thought, man, I should have put more black circles on all of the tool pieces. Now, if that's not a big concern for you, don't worry about it. But if you want to do that, simply make Make it a two-step process. When you're making your tutu dress or skirt, go ahead and after each layer that you've created, go ahead and put those dots on each layer like that. So do one layer at a time, including the embellishments, one layer at a time. And you won't have to try to mess with all the tool and going back. We only added to the first two layers. To create the headpiece, we're using a turban that's black, a couple of dowels, some satin ribbon. You can use black fabric in place of this, some felt style sheets, our hot glue, and our craft scissors. And if you have a couple of those small rubber bands, they're going to be really helpful to you. Simply heat seal your satin ribbon and wrap it around the dowel, completely covering the dowel. Now, if you've got some black paint and you don't mind waiting till it dries overnight, use that instead it's a lot faster. After you've completely covered it, make, put it aside, make the other one. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take felt sheets that you're working with and you're going to cut it into wide strips. I'd say about three inches wide. And then you're going to cut it again in half. Now we're using some leftover tool and we're going to ball it up. Put it with a dab of glue on top of that rectangle that you made with the felt. Bunch it up. After you've done that, place it on the dowel. Now wrap your 
rubber band around it. And now you have the antennae. And you're going to do that for each one. Since this turban is specifically for the ladybug creation, we don't mind putting hot glue on it. You may want to try Velcro instead. But we know this will stay securely. Pick your spot on the turban. Place both dowels with some hot glue on them. Doing one at a time. Let it set. Depending on the turban's material, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. After it's dried, do the same positioning it so that way it looks like they're sticking out at you. And voila, you've created the antenna. And it's also really comfortable. We thank you so much for viewing, sharing, and subscribing. Stay tuned for our Cookie Monster tutorial next. liked our video and our channel please subscribe we could truly use your support you can find all of our information on our various stores at our YouTube homepage and our Google Plus page CJ and Sons presents Naomi inspired we've also included some links for you at the end of each video don't forget to check us out on Facebook thank you so much for viewing <laughs>